Greetings all! In the ever-evolving world of retro gaming handouts, two titans have emerged to captivate the hearts and minds of enthusiasts at the roughly $200 price range. The Anbunic RG556 and the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. In today's video, I'm going to give a quick comparison of the two based on what some of the top reviewers out there are saying. But before we get to that, please consider throwing me a like and hitting that subscribe button as it really helps the channel out and allows me to make more awesome videos like these. With that said, let's dive in and explore the strengths and weaknesses of these formidable competitors. First up, let's look at the specs of each model. The Anbernic RG556 is suitably specced out with a Unisoc T820 processor and equipped with 8 gigs of RAM. It's Mali G57 GPU and 5.4 inch AMOLED display with a 1920 by 1080 resolution delivers a visually stunning experience with vibrant colors and deep blacks that will leave you mesmerized. I have only seen some gameplay online, and trust me, this screen makes games look amazing. I will leave a link in the description below to another reviewer who tested 100 PS2 games on this device. This should give you a good idea of how games look like on the screen, and what the performance is like. Connectivity wise, the RG556 supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5, ensuring seamless wireless capabilities. Rounding out its impressive specs is a large 5500 mAh battery promising up to 8 hours of gameplay. In the opposing corner, the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro packs a punch with its Dimensity 1100 CPU and Mali G77 GPU. The RP4 Pro and its 4.7 inch touchscreen display may not boast the same AMOLED glory as the RG556, but its 720p resolution still provides a responsive visual experience. The Retroid Pocket 4 Pro comes equipped with 8 gigs of RAM and up the NT with faster UFS 3.1 storage, potentially delivering quicker load times compared to the RG556's UFS 2.2 storage. Connectivity-wise, the RP4 Pro offers Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, along with a 5000 mAh battery for extended gaming sessions. When it comes to performance, both the Anbunic RG556 and the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro excel in their own ways. The RG556's AMOLED display and user-friendly interface makes it a joy to use, providing a visually stunning and intuitive experience. Its hardware is more than capable of handling a wide range of retro gaming systems, from NES and Sega Master System to PlayStation 1 and even Dreamcast. Reviewers have reported smooth gameplay and impressive emulation capabilities across the board. On the other hand, the RP4 Pro's Dimension 1100 CPU and Mali G77 GPU give it an edge in performance, particularly when it comes to emulating more demanding systems. While the RG556 can handle higher end games on systems like PS2 and GameCube, the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro showcases its prowess with smoother frame rates and fewer hiccups, making it the preferred choice for gamers seeking better performance. From the testing I have seen, the RP4 Pro ekes out a roughly 5 to 10 frames per second performance difference in a lot of games depending on your settings. I will leave a link in the description to a video from Retro Gaming Handouts where they did a gaming comparison between these two systems. Similarly, if you google synthetic benchmarks, the folks over at Notebook Check noted a roughly 9% performance difference between these two processors. Please note though, your results may vary depending on testing scenarios and games played. Considering the above though, if slightly better performance is a factor for you, then you may want to opt for the RP4 Pro. When it comes to design and ergonomics, the RG556 boasts a more ergonomic and comfortable design. With a rounded shape that fits snugly in the hands, its controls, including the analog sticks, D-pad and buttons are well positioned and responsive, ensuring a smooth gaming experience even during extended play sessions. The device's larger size, however, may make it less portable compared to the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. In contrast, the RP4 Pro features a more compact and portable design, making it easier to slip into a pocket or bag. While the controls are still comfortable and responsive, some reviewers have noted that the placement of the analog sticks may not be ideal for certain game genres, such as first-person shooters, which require precise dual stick control. The RP4 Pro has also had issues with failing trigger buttons when it's shipped on certain units. I don't know if this has been resolved on their most recent units, but I have heard that they offer a 2 year warranty on these, so if they fail, you should be able to get them replaced. Just be warned, the process of making this happen may take some time according to the reports I've seen. With that said, what is my verdict when it comes to choosing between these two units? Well, I have to admit that I am a bit torn between these two. 
which makes me think that the choice will ultimately come down to personal preference. If you value a stunning visual experience and better ergonomics, the RG556 might be the way to go. However, if better performance and the ability to emulate more demanding retro games are your top concern, the RP4 Pro may be the better option. Just take note though that as of the making of this video, the cheapest I could find the RP4 Pro was for $199 from Retroid themselves. Every other supplier I checked seems to have their pricing over $200, and this may be due to high demand for the unit. The RG556 is slightly cheaper, at $185 from Enburnic directly, and does not seem to share the same problem. Regardless of which device you choose, both the RG556 and the RP4 Pro are impressive retro gaming powerhouses that will surely delight any enthusiasts. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to buy either of these. If you want to have a little bit more detail on them, be sure to check out my overview videos on each of these by clicking on the links on screen now. That's it for this video. Have a nice day, and I will catch you in the next one.